Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to migrate a container from one LXD instance to another LXD instance. So I hope many of you are using Linux containers, LXC and LXD, and I've done few videos on that. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you two methods. The first method is the actual, uh, is the preferred way to migrate a container or move a container or copy a container, so on. All right, so what i'll be doing is i'm gonna provision two virtual machines um two ubuntu virtual machines and then install lxd create a container and move the container across to another instance so yeah let's get started so there are two methods let's start with the first method so i'm gonna cd to my play directory which is where i do all my stuff and i'm gonna git clone my vagrant repository so I'm going to be using Vagrant to bring up a couple of uh, Ubuntu virtual machines. So if I cd to Vagrant, Vagrant files, I've got Ubuntu 18 and there's a Vagrant file. I'm going to edit that Vagrant file and change the number of nodes to 2 and I don't need 2 gig of RAM. So let's change that to 1 gig of RAM. And if you see here, these virtual machines will get a private network IP address. So the first machine will be 172.42.42.101 and the second machine will be 102. Okay, let's save that and bring them up. Vagrant up. Okay, so it's going to take a couple of minutes to bring those two machines. Once that's done, we will log into each of these machines, install LXD and start the container and do our migration. All right. All right, so we've got two machines now. So if I do Vagrant SSH, so we have Ubuntu VM01 and Ubuntu VM02. Specific VM name, I'm sorry, Vagrant status, not Vagrant SSH. And then let's log into uh, the first machine here. So both these virtual machines are running now. Let's log into the first one, Ubuntu uh, Vagrant SSH Ubuntu VM01. And we are going to use snap uh, to install LXT. All right, so sudo snap install LXT. So that will install LXD. If you don't have uh, LX snap install, install snap and then make sure snapd service is running. All right, LXD is installed. So LXD version 4.2 is what we got here. And now I'm gonna add uh, my user account to the LXD group so that I don't have to prefix sudo to run any LXC or LXD commands. So as we used Vagrant to provision these virtual machines, so our username is Vagrant. So I'm gonna add, uh, vagrant to the lxd group so once you add it log out and log back in and then we need to do the lxd in it to initialize lxd lxd in it all right so the first option uh, it's going to show us is do we need to set up lxd clustering not for this video but i might be doing a uh, video later about lxd clustering so for this video let's go with uh, the default no do you want to configure a new storage pool? Yes. Name of the new storage pool. Let, let, let's leave that as default. And the storage backend, I'm going to use directory. Would you like to connect to mass server? No. Create a local network bridge. Yes. Name of the bridge, LXDB or zero. That's fine. IPv4, IPv6. Okay. So this is very important. Would you like LXD to be available over the network? So you are running the LXD service, LXD daemon on this machine, but you're also uh, exposing it, uh, which means you can connect to this LXD daemon from any machine. All right, so definitely we need to set that to yes. And address to bind, so I'm gonna bind by default all the interfaces, but if you've got multiple interfaces in your real physical server, you can specify which interface uh, you want to bind the service to. So let's go with the default and the default port 8443 and make sure to set the password. We need this password later when we are connecting, uh, when we use the LXC command to connect to a remote server, uh, which is where we use this password. So I'm gonna set this password to admin, admin, and then the defaults for the next two options. Okay, LXC list, we don't have anything. I'm gonna open up another tab and log into Ubuntu VM02 and then do exactly the same thing, sudo snap, install lxd all right lxd is installed so now i'm going to add user vagrant to the lxd group vagrant lxd log out and log back in 
and now we are good to do the LXT in it. I'm going to use the same set of options that I used for Ubuntu VM01. So LXT in it. No storage pool default, directory backend, IPv4, IPv6, and LXT is available over the network. Yes, default password. I'm going to set the password to admin. Okay, so LXT has been initialized. And if I do LXT list, I don't have anything. Okay, so now let's go back to Ubuntu VM01 and let's create our first uh, container. So LXC um, init Ubuntu colon 1804. It doesn't have to be Ubuntu 1804. You can, you can use any image Ubuntu 1804. If you want to search for available images, you can do LXC image list images colon and if you search for there'll be loads and loads of images or you can restrict what you want by doing LXC image uh, list images colon let's say you want Debian and it's going to list all the Debian related packages okay so let's do let's bring up uh, an Ubuntu 18.04 uh, container LXC in it Ubuntu 18.04 and give it a name. Let's call it my Ubuntu. Okay, so creating Ubuntu. At the moment, it's downloading, it's pulling the root file system from the remote repository server and then it will create the container, but it won't start the container. We need to start the container. All right, so now if I do LXE list, so we've got the container, now we can start the container. LXE start my Ubuntu. LXE list so that's Ubuntu still we haven't got the IPv4 address it will take a few seconds for the um, address to get for it to get the address from the DHCP service yep so now we've got the service now we got the IP address okay so LXE exec my Ubuntu bash so I'm logging into the uh, container and let's say let's imagine you are customizing this container as per your liking okay so I'm just gonna touch a file called hello all right, so ls, there's a hello file, exec and lxe stop my Ubuntu. I'm just stopping the container. Okay, so now we are going to, so we have two machines with lxd service running. And on one machine, we have the, we have created a container and we've customized our container. And now we are ready to migrate this container from one machine to the other machine. So the process, the first method is you need to add the second machine as a remote server on this machine. So we are going to be adding Ubuntu VM02's LXD instance as a remote server in Ubuntu VM01 so that we can copy over the container to Ubuntu VM02. All right. So before that, you can't copy a container directly. You need to create a snapshot of the container. So let's first create a snapshot of our container. So LXC snapshot, the container that we are going to snapshot and the name of the snapshot, which is snap1. All right, snapshot created. If I do LXC list, so that's our container. You can see uh, there's one snapshot associated with it and you can also use the Alexi info command. And there we go. So that's our snapshot, uh, the date time uh, stamp when it was taken. So it is stateless um, because we shut down the container and then we took a snapshot. So it doesn't matter. But if you want to take a, a snapshot of a running container, it makes sense to use minus minus stateful option to the LXE snapshot command so that it also captures the current state of the container. Okay, not just the root file system, but also the processes running currently on the container. Okay, so now we've got the snapshot. Now um, we're going to add the remote server. So if I just do LXE remote list, so these are the current remote uh, um, services that we've configured in our system. So if you look at these three images, Ubuntu and Ubuntu daily, they, they are simple streams. So those are the image repositories where you pull the containers from. And the local one here is Unix and the protocol is LXT. So here is where we're going to add Ubuntu VM02 as a remote server. So the command to add is LXC remote add name of the uh, let's let's give it a name so it's going to end up in the in the name column so ubuntu vm02 and the dns name or the ip address of the the remote machine that we are going to add so 172.42.42.102 so it's creating a client certificate so what it's basically doing is it's creating a certificate uh, in ubuntu vm01 and it's going to transfer the certificate across to ubuntu vm02 so the communication between them is encrypted TLS 
and it uses this uh, self-signed certificate to uh, securely communicate between these two instances okay so admin password for ubuntu vmo2 remember this is the password that we set when we did the lxd init command so the password that i gave was admin all right so client certificate stored at server the certificate that we generated here in ubuntu vmo1 has now been stored in ubuntu vmo2 so now this machine here ubuntu vmo1 can connect to ubuntu vmo2's lxd instance okay if i do lxd remote list now so now we go ubuntu vmo2 and that's the address and it's listening on port 8443 so that's the port that we accepted when we did the lxd init command so if I go to Ubuntu VMO2 and do sudo netstat minus NLTP, so you can see port 8443, that's the LXD service listening on port 8443. Okay, so going back to Ubuntu VMO1, so that's the remote that we've added, just added. Okay, so what have we got here? So we've got a container, we've got a remote server, so now we need to push this container to the remote server and then we can use it on the remote server okay so the command is lxc copy so we're going to copy this container across to the other machine lxc copy the container name the snapshot name and the remote server which is ubuntu vm02 this is not the name of the server but the name of the remote uh, server that we configured lxc remote list so you might have given a different name here so it's the it's this name that you have to mention not the actual server name so my server name host name is ubuntu vmo2 but i might have given a different name here under the remote so this is what you have to uh, specify not the actual host name of the server that you're trying to connect to okay so lxc copy my ubuntu and the snapshot is snap1 we are going to connect to this one here ubuntu vmo2 and we're gonna specify the container name you can give any name uh, for your container okay so now it's transferring it's i could say it's transferring the container across to ubuntu vmo2 and then we should be able to log into ubuntu vmo2 and then start using that container all right so lxc copy command completed so now if i go to ubuntu vmo2 and do lxc list there we go so that's our container which we copied uh, which we pushed uh, from ubuntu vmo1 so now we can create we can start this container lxc start my ubuntu lxc list give it a couple seconds for it to grab the ip address lxc list there we go so we've got the ip address and if i log into that container and there we go that's, that's our hello file that we created okay so that's first method so now let's see how we can do it in a different way all right so let me stop this container or delete this container and then let's do it all over again but using a different method lxc list we don't have any containers lxc image list so we don't have any images or we don't have any containers all right so now i'm going to go back to ubuntu vm01 let's remove this remote uh, server lxc remote list lxc remote remove ubuntu vm02 okay so that's gone so now we have a container that's configured and we've took a snapshot of that container. Now what we're going to do is instead of adding a remote LXD instance to this server, we're going to, so we, we basically, this container, my Ubuntu container is from an image. So basically we've got an image. From that image, we created a container. And from that container, we created a snapshot, a snapshot of the running container. So now what we're going to do is from this container, we're going to create an image out of that container from that snapshot. And then we're going to export that image as a tar file. And then back in Ubuntu VMO2, we're going to import that image from that tar file. So it might sound complicated, but it's a lot easier. Okay, so we've got that uh, thing there, container. So now we're going to create an image of that running container. I mean stopped container so lxc the command is lxc publish so if you just type in lxc publish and hit enter it's going to show you the help message publish containers as images okay so we've got a container and the intention is to create an image from that container so the command is lxc publish container name again a snapshot name and now what we're going to do is pass an option minus minus alias my ubuntu image 
So that's just the name of the image that we are generating. All right, so that's the command. All right, so the command completed, and if I do LXE image list, there we go, my Ubuntu image. So that's the image that we created from that stopped container. All right, so we can't directly transfer this image to a different machine. So we need to export this image as a tar file, and then we need to copy the tar file across to the other machine. So in order to create a tar file uh, from this uh, image, we need to use the LXE export command, LXE image export name of the image my ubuntu image then hit enter that's it so it's exporting the image and at the moment it will be doing uh it will be exporting that as a tar file in the current directory where you are so that's the tar file which we need to copy over to ubuntu vmo2 but this is a vagrant virtual machine because we are using vagrant we won't be able to use uh ssh password authentication because password authentication is disabled uh, by default and the only uh, authentication allowed is SSH key based authentication so let's fix that we're going to go to Ubuntu VMO2 and edit the SSH configuration sudo viETC SSH sshd config and then search for password authentication there it is change that to yes and then to uh, systemctl restart SSH that's it. So now we should be able to use uh, SCP command to transfer this file to Ubuntu VMO2 172.42.42.102. Yes, and the default password is vagrant. Okay, so that's getting copied. That's done. If I go to Ubuntu VMO2 and do an ls, so there we go. So we've copied the tar file. So now we're going to import the star file as an image. If I do LXE image list, we don't have any image at the moment. So LXE image import So it's LXE image import and the tar file and give it a name alias my Ubuntu image. You can give any name here. So now it's going to extract. Now it's going to extract this uh, tarball into an image file, and it's going to store that image locally in this file, in this LXT instance. So if I do LXE image list now, there we go. So now we've got the image imported from the tar file. So now we are good to create a container from this image. LXE init my Ubuntu image, and let's give it a name for the container my Ubuntu. So that's creating the Ubuntu container at the moment okay so that's done lxc list lxc start my ubuntu lxc list lxc list okay so we've now got the ip address lxc exec my ubuntu bash ls there we go so that's the file that we created so that's exactly the same container that we copied from ubuntu vm01 okay so that's the second method but the preferred way to copy the container to a different machine is the the first method that i just explained so this is just to show you a couple different methods uh to export a container from one machine running lxd to another lxd instance all right so that's it let's uh tear up our vagrant environment vagrant destroy minus f so hope you found this video useful give it a try if you've got any questions let me know i'll be happy to help Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I've got lots of videos coming and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.